we're trying to give the most accurate data possible. <laughs> the science that they're doing there, everybody uses it around the world. This is really the birthplace of climate science research. So much so that I get a lot of visitors coming here who are maybe on their honeymoon or, you know, on vacation. Get a lot of climate nerds up here? A lot of climate nerds who, <laughs> who come, come up and make me feel really good about my job. Where are we right now? We are currently at the Mauna Loa Observatory. It's on the northern slope of the Mauna Loa volcano on the big island of Hawaii. Uh, and we are at an elevation of about 11,140 feet. Is this sort of like a magical place to be checking for carbon dioxide? This I know you believe in magic. <laughs> this location is ideal to be look, um, monitoring for carbon dioxide. Mauna Loa Observatory is really the, uh, the foundation, or the cornerstone of, of climate science. Dr. Charles Keeling was the scientist who initially started monitoring carbon dioxide at Mauna Loa in 1958. So he wasn't the first one to hypothesize that CO2 could be an issue, but he was the first one to accurately monitor it and measure it to an accuracy that could be deemed in a scientific world very accurate. Educating our entire planet about the effects of, of carbon dioxide from the research that happened right here. The research that happened right here started in 1958. This is the birthplace of the Keeling Curve. And so what is the Keeling Curve? So the Keeling Curve is a record of carbon dioxide measured from 1958 to the present day at Mauna Loa Observatory. And it's the longest running continuous record of CO2 anywhere in the world. Scientifically speaking, that is a pretty killer contribution to science, is it not? It is. Uh, and that really started the whole climate change debate, if you can call it, that's going on nowadays. It's a bit of climate nerdery, I'll admit, but to see the place where they figured it out that carbon's doing this and they have like the gold standard of measurement, it was very cool to be there. It was like kind of an honor, it felt like to me. 